Hi YouTube! Uh, tomorrow is the 31st of August, which means the day after that is the 1st of September. Um, so it's about time we did an August flip through and a um, September plan with me. So, you know, I hope you're ready. Uh, let's get going. My theme for August was to match my cover and that was Mary Poppins. Um, I was quite pleased with how it turned out. Oh gosh, we'll get there in a sec. There we go. So there we go. That was August. It's very, very basically plain. It was my first um, play with better <laughs> colouring pencils. Um, you may remember that I did colouring pencils in July and I wasn't very happy with them. But um, at the end of July, Amazon Prime Day, I bought some Prismacolors and some Polychromos and did this. Um, the one thing I have learned is I need to buy a pencil fixative um, so that when I write on the other side it doesn't transfer because I've had to erase several times. You can't see it very well on the camera but there's actually a bit of black there from Mary's um, umbrella. So yeah, um, it's not perfect but I'm getting there, you know. It's something I need to practice on which I think I'm going to do a little bit more over the winter months when I've got time at home. This was my monthly calendar. Um, I was going to do a sleep tracker up there but I couldn't figure out a way to do it that I liked so um yeah I gave up that in the end um yeah so that's that's pretty much it's quite a blank calendar because it's the summer holidays here in the UK and I haven't had a lot of appointments really so there you go yes this is my mood tracker um I really enjoyed this one it took me a little while to get it plotted out on my page um i didn't do any measurements i basically eyeballed it which is why some of the squares that look a lot bigger there than they do there and they're huge here compared to yeah i just i eyeballed it so what um i quite like it it's kooky um if you're wondering why each one's a different color check out my color coding vid there's a eye appearing up there um that'll take you to it and um yeah i again decorated it mary poppin style spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down and let's fly a kite um, I must say it looks much better on the uh, camera than it does actually up close. It's, it still looks quite scribbly to me, but that's, that just seems to be me that finds that. But yeah, anyway, so there we go. This is my mood tracker. Um, I need to mandala this. This is something else I need to get on and do. Um, I just literally haven't had a lot of time. I've enjoyed doing it, but yeah, I, I do want to mandala this and, and try and make it look pretty and enjoy it. This was... Uh, gratitude it was supposed to be a gratitude but then I noticed that I'd wrote in like days when I had a bad IBS attack um, I also wrote um, you know Aretha Franklin passed away this month as well and I wrote that in here so it was more like um, I don't know the word of the day or the phrase of the day I suppose really that that ended up being <laughs> Um, this was going to be August favourites, but like I said, it's the holidays and we didn't really do much. Um, my little one went to one birthday party. The other one got cancelled because it was supposed to be outside um, and due to rain, she couldn't do it. So it got cancelled. Um, I'm probably going to put, because I never left a page for them, the two challenges that I did. I did um, llamas, uh, llama letters, uh, lettering every damn day and the rando doodles from Cindy Guntet Boldo and TPPB lettering and TPPB doodles <laughs> okay so yeah I, I did those so I'm probably just going to stick these in here just to give them somewhere to live so there you go this was just a note page I finished off July's uh, trackers here because I was doing a weekly tracker in July um, this was uh, my order from Ikea I bought a new system I was working out of a very very small bureau um, if you want to see uh, go check my Instagram out it's the same name as my YouTube go check it out um, I went from a tiny little bureau to a bloody great Calyx with a desk <laughs> and it's great I've got so much more room it's brilliant so yes, I was quite pleased with that. Um, this was Patchwork Doodle Blues. Um, I didn't finish it. I just ran out of time each day to basically fill it up and do it, you know. So I might get around to it, I don't know. Then I moved into my weekly spreads. Um, I did my weather along the top and I did my steps along the bottom. Again, it's all colour coded. You guys should know the score by now. I tried to do a little bit of blending here. That came out a lot better than I expected. Um, although I was told with uh, 
I think it's polychromos that you're better off blending from dark to light than you are from light to dark. It just works better. This is my monthly running task list, things to get done, whatever. Um, my phrase for the uh, the theme. <laughs> Winds in the east, there's a mist coming in. Like something is brewing, about to begin. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's one of my favourite bits. I think that's just, it's, oh, I love the movie. I'm, I'm a huge fan. So this was week one. Um, you know, I wrote poignant things in for each you know I started writing things in that I thought oh just to fill it up because it looked a bit bare like I said it's the holidays and we're not doing much so yeah um so that worked well week two uh, my son my eldest boy went away to camp um he had lots of fun on that my mum's had quite a few appointments there's a lot of green in here because it was for my mum then um oh I had <laughs> I had one of these uh awful experiences where you go and you do loads of shopping online and you buy yourself a few things because you're a bit flush and then you realize your car seat is actually too small for your child so you have to go out and buy a new one so yeah that arrived Monday and then we had a nice walk on Tuesday we went out for lunch on Wednesday Aretha died that Thursday my new desk came <laughs> I ordered my new desk I think it was on the Friday um, I bought some gelatos on Saturday. Um, I live on the Isle of Wight. We're quite well known for not only the Isle of Wight Festival, which was the last thing Jimi Hendrix played at, but also our garlic. Uh, it's quite well known. And Cow's Week, you might have heard of that. But if not, hey, look them up. You know, it was a garlic festival that week and my son um, helps at that. Uh, that night, Sunday night, although we it's Monday morning for us, was WWE SummerSlam. That was good fun. And, you know, yeah, hey, vodka, summer holidays. <laughs> I did a load of housework, watched Deep Space Nine, had a bad day. You know, I write it down. Sometimes it's important for me to know why I had a bad day, you know. So, and it rained and, you know, my desk came and we set it up. It took us a couple of hours, but hey, we did it. And yeah, chuffed to bits that it's now done. This is the last week. After that, we go into my journal. Um, what I do is I colour code my days as well that's all in my colour coding video and I write my journal in fountain pen each week I swap pen so one week will be teal the following week will be purple then I go back to teal because I've literally got two fountain pens at the moment um, I just chuck my challenges in and then I write around it I try to do two letter challenges and two drawing challenges a month so yeah this was a plane um, and Mickey Mouse and then it was under the sea in Las Vegas. There we got mini um, and we had a globe. I loved these because they went together. You know, we had Mickey and Minnie and then we had Donald and Daisy, which is just, and Donald, the other prompt was the beach. So I put Donald on the beach. And then the other prompt to go uh, for TPBB lettering, uh, doodles was um, suitcases. So Daisy is off to the beach, look. It says beach there and somewhere hot on that one. So she had suitcases, you know? Um, I may have mixed up to make them match a little bit and I wish I'd done it through all of it but I put um, Pluto with a hotel key, Goofy with a map and the reason I did that was so that I could put Scrooge with some money. So you know if you're looking at the two challenges together going hey wait a minute you've mixed them up, yes I did. Um, the next one was City Skyline and there's no rando doodle on there because I wanted to put Huey, Dewey and Louie together. So the other two prompts were passports and the mountains. So Huey, Dewey and Louie with their passports are off to the mountains. Hence no uh, doodles on that one, just the lettering and a load of journaling. Um, this one was Chippendale, a car and ice cream. So, you know, they're in a car eating ice cream. They were really, really, really hard to draw. I had a lot of trouble getting those right. Um, Jiminy Cricket and a postcard. Um, I quite enjoyed that. That was also the day that I... Uh, the stamps that I bought the day my car seat um, proved to be too small. <laughs> yeah, these are the stamps. I did a video on that as well. That's up there somewhere. Um, uh, I don't do faces, so I did a chibi version of Tinkerbell because, you know, <laughs> yeah, just why not? Um, there's Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. And Winnie the Pooh's in the desert. Okay, or is he on the beach? I can't remember. I think he's in the desert. Um, and there was Piglet and a, goat, and a cruise ship and again like I said, you know, Aretha Franklin so, you know, you got to put her in haven't you uh, there's a moped and Tigger 
and I also bought one of my punches was a tag topper a scalloped tag topper so I've got Dumbo and then on on my tag I wrote the two challenges just to make it a little bit 3d because I just I thought that was a bit cool so yeah there you go got blue in a bus um, you can't see that that does actually say the date that's why it looks a bit patchy it's got the date written in this yellow down there you can't see it very well um, Bambi in a postage stamp thumper and a camera flower and a cocktail now this one I was I wish I'd paid attention here because the Cheshire cat came in and then threw everything off threw all of my pairings off okay so remember that you got Cheshire cat and some sunglasses then you got Gus Gus from Cinderella and a camper van and then you got Jack I'd wanted Gus Gus and Jack together if I'd paid attention I would have put him at the end of the end of the month but there you go so you got Gus Gus and Jack and Jack's got a flower and then you've got Lady and the Tramp so I had to do the spaghetti going off the page and I'm really I was bloody annoyed about that and you can guess what's coming next can't you yeah Pongo and Pedita Bernard yeah Bianca's going to be tomorrow so yeah I'm super pissed about that but hey that's just my fault for not paying attention so now we are going to do September um, yeah the, the, there isn't a Bianca yet because that's tomorrow and I haven't done it so um, as you can see I have sketched it out and as you might be able to tell my theme is going to be flowers this month um, what I'm going to try and do I'm hoping I can do this or I'm hoping I'm not going to bite off more than I can chew um, basically I am going to find a couple of challenges to do if I can find ones that I like um, I haven't yet really found anything that's sort of you know grabbing my goat but I'm as the month progresses I am going to add to my like my calendar I'm going to draw flowers I'm going to learn how to draw flowers um, I found um, a lovely person on Instagram called Bond Journal who does a lot of how-to kind of posts excuse me time for a drink um, I've got a little bit of paper here because I printed this up she does a lot of these how to draw you know so as you can see I've, I've, I've tried to copy I'm not very good because I don't I don't draw flowers I don't know how to draw flowers um, so yeah she, she's done all these different tutorials and I'm gonna try and spend the next month learning how to do them so let's get started and see how far we get <laughs> she says right
Okay, so I started off with a cover page. Um, I've done some various different flowers. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you what they all are. Uh, that one's a phlox, that's a tulip, I think that's a poppy, um, that's a lotus, and that one I oh, I forget the bloody name of it. Uh, uh, hydrangea, is that what it is? Oh, I can never remember. Yeah, hydrangea. <laughs> So there you go. Um, I decided to make September a little bit darker. I'm wondering if I should just colour it in black to make it really, really pop. What do you think? Hmm, just It might just really, you know, really sort of wham if it was in black. I'm going to put a votey thing over there. You know, vote on it. I can always do it later. Standard monthly spread. Um... I plan to decorate all down around here with a flower or a garland or some such bloody thing. Um, I'm so annoyed with this. I couldn't figure out what had gone wrong. And then it turned out I had too many squares going this way, too many lines. So, yeah, I screwed that up a little bit, which I'm a bit annoyed about. But unless I go back and tip exit all, it's, you know, and that's just going to make it look shit. So then I wrote the numbers, and then I started writing the numbers along there, and I was like, oh, so, you know, <clears throat> that's going to be a bit of a bodge again. I'm hoping to decorate it with flowers. My mood mandala. As you can see, this month I used a compass. I bought this um, recently. I can't remember where I got it from. Um, but it came in a nice little set, which I got quite like. Yeah, so I was, I was quite pleased with that. So, um, excuse my phone bedinging. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, all ready to go. I just need to pick my colours. This is going to be my gratitude page and it's going to be a sort of a spiral um, but I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to do it and I think that's going to take me bloody ages so I'm not doing it today because quite frankly I'm just too tired. Um, this is my weekly template. What I plan on doing here is for example every Wednesday I take my mother out because my mother no longer drives um, due to her age so I want I'm going to write in here um, like my morning routine Monday Tuesdays and Wednesdays is to get up get my son ready for preschool and drop him off and then on Wednesdays from about nine o'clock I go down um, I clean uh, we rent out rooms in a house sorry I'm just going to shut that up um, we rent out rooms in a house and then um I clean that and then I take my mum out so I would put that in so it's the same every Wednesday just to sort of remind me what I do each day you know Sunday my son goes to archery um, Friday uh, my partner tends to stay over do you know what I mean there's the, there's things that we do every single week I want to put in here I got this idea and this template from um, Lama's Love Lettering Cindy Gunter Boldo so thank you for that Cindy if you ever watch someone as lowly as me on this page um because i plan on just writing like morning routine here i will actually list what my morning routine entails so it's getting up um having my cup of tea because i can't function without my morning cup of tea um you know getting dressed doing my morning um tracker chores or chore, yeah, tracker chores which are here you know take my pill put my face cream on clean the loo seat that kind of thing um and then taking my son to school um i may just do a color line in here because i saw cindy had done that as well which i thought was quite a good idea just school in or out so i may do that um, but that's what that page is for anyway um my september memories are gonna go here um yeah august <laughs> if you might recall from all oh, that time ago it was a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a yeah so yeah never mind that's that's going to go there um this is going to be my notes page and my challenge prompts which you know i'll probably i'll find a couple to do even if it's just lettering ones um because i need to learn to start doing other lettering like calligraphy and stuff like that um I, i'm gonna go there so my challenge prompts you know so i mean these are last months but you know i can usually get four on two of each letters and uh, two two doodles and then I'm I should start putting my weekly ones here um the rest of this this month is going to be like last month but I'm not doing a Dutch door system okay I'm going to do a different style weekly that's going to entail um 
you know well I don't know I've got a couple of ideas of different different ways I can do it I'm thinking I might do the week in the middle and then decorate on the outside I might do the week one page and do a nice picture over here I don't know I haven't decided yet do you know what if you've got any ideas send them my way that would be brilliant um right that's it okay I'm stopping I've been at this for two hours and 21 minutes and six seconds I'm exhausted I've drunk about three pints of um tango or fanta or whatever the hell it is fizzy pink shit or orange shit um yeah so I I, I want to go to bed now because it's 10 past 12 and I'm a tired little girl so you know, <laughs> um I will do the extra little bits um we'll get a week plan with me up um in a couple of days um I know it's September very very soon actually it's September in 24 hours now um but I will get one up it might be a day or so late because I still have um obviously the first and second on the end of this one um oh look I can cross that one off now um and because my trackers and everything is set up they're the important things but I'll get the week set up to start on the 3rd of September on this page very very soon thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video um you know please subscribe to my channel I would really really appreciate it uh please you know leave me a thumbs up there it does my channel the world of good and I really am so pleased when people do and you know what comment I love interacting with you guys I love answering questions I love bouncing ideas backwards and forwards off of you guys um if you hit the bell it's, you know it's over there somewhere um you'll be notified when I upload new content um I hope you've had a fantastic evening and the rest of your day or tomorrow or the rest of your weekend whatever is as wonderful um if you are here in the UK it's only a few more days until the keys go back to school guys can't wait take it easy have a good one bye